If you want to experience these same incredible transformations that women are experiencing when they start lifting weights, then this is the video for you. This is the second workout of the Get Glutes program and we're going to be targeting the upper body, hitting the shoulders, the triceps, and the core. This is a spicy workout and I'm so excited to have you joining me in this. Strength training is one of my favorite forms of fitness because after you do a strength training workout, you feel so proud of your body. You feel so strong and so capable. And I want you to experience that feeling today. Let's get into this warm up and let's get strong. Cause everything you be is changing me and I can't seem to get you out of my head. Out of my head. I got time for you. I got time for you. So be mine. Would you give me time to give it all to you? Give it all to you. So we're going to start in a half kneeling position with your front right leg forward and the dumbbell in your left hand. You're gonna bring the dumbbell to your shoulder and press it directly overhead. You can take a kind of neutral position with your hand so your palm doesn't have to be facing completely out away from you. It can almost be facing slightly turned in at about like a 45 degree angle to your face. You wanna keep your core nice and tight while you are pressing overhead. We're gonna superset this movement with alternating shoulder taps, which after we finish this last rep, we're gonna get into. You're gonna to go to the top of a push-up position and take a really wide stance with your feet. If you have to modify this, you can drop down to your knees. From here, you're gonna place most of your weight on one hand while keeping your core engaged and alternating from bringing opposite hand to opposite shoulder.
next exercise is a single arm tricep extension. You wanna find a bench, a chair, a nice stable place where you can sit to complete this movement. You can also do this from the floor. You're gonna place a dumbbell in your hand and press it overhead and then lower it behind your head and extend your arm fully to complete the repetition. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in the back of your arm. Make sure that you're keeping your chest nice and upright. You don't wanna have any major dips or leaning too far forward or leaning too far backwards in this exercise. We're also going to superset this with a lateral raise. So make sure after this exercise, you grab two dumbbells you can grab lighter dumbbells if you have access to them. You're gonna start with holding the dumbbells by your side, keep your chest nice and tall, have a slight bend in your elbow, and raise your arms out to the side so that when your arms are extended, your shoulder, elbow, and wrist are all in a straight line. <coughs> Yeah.
The next exercise we'll be doing is an alternating upright row. You're gonna hold two lighter dumbbells in your hands in front of your body, and from here, you wanna row the weight up your body almost as if you're zipping up a shirt. You want to keep the dumbbell at about the top of your chest. You don't want to pull it higher than your shoulder joint because you're then going to put your shoulder in a pretty uncomfortable position. So if you have to modify this, you can pull a little bit lower and make sure your elbow is being pulled out to the side and you're keeping that dumbbell close. Next, we're going into walking bear crawls. You're going to be on all fours and raise your knees up off the floor. You're going to take alternating turns, walking forwards and backwards. You want to try and keep your hips as low as you can and avoid them rising up.
weighted dip exercise, you're going to be placing a dumbbell on your hips and placing your hands on a bench or a stable chair behind you. From here, you're going to take a bend at the elbows, lowering your body down and then extending your elbows at the top. If you have to remove the weight from this exercise and do it body weight, that is totally acceptable as well. After we do our 10 reps of this, we are going to go into a reverse tabletop position. So you're going to sit on your butt, place your feet on the floor, your hands on the floor, and you are going to lift your hips up to the sky, engaging your glutes and engaging your core. You can also modify how you have your hands if you need to turn your hands upward a little bit to keep your shoulders comfortable.